pushback. Uh, the inboard engines are started, we're just starting up the outboard engines, and as soon as the engine start the outboards is complete, we'll be getting taxi clearance and getting on our way. Check start and fuel, engage engine and Tyson schedule. Off and fly over. Brake phone, they're off. Ground idle, too low. Door warnings. Tested and out. Engine feed pumps. All on. Hydraulics. Uh, check. Electrics. Check. Ground bypass. Ground equipment's clearing, the after start check is complete. Okay, we've got our clearance to taxi. Nose to five, please. That's uh, lowering the nose to our normal taxiing position, releasing the brakes. There we are, rolling okay. forward, hold clear, All taking clear. emergency brakes. And Bill, if we could have the taxi checks, please. Nose of visor. Yes, down five. Checked. Okay, brakes. They're checked back at normal. Flight instruments. The cockpit Flight checks instrument. are not actually continuous. They're carefully designed in sections to prepare the aircraft for the next stage of flight. Checked. Trims. Trims I've checked, set for takeoff. Set for takeoff. And we're clear to line up after the A5. We'll have the before takeoff checks, please, Bill. Okay, briefing. Any update? No update for the briefing. Understood. Taxi turns. They're going on. Transponder. That's 5257 and on. Wheel light is out. Off. About here. And that's the final series of checks before takeoff. Quite interesting lining up on the runway. We're sitting here on the flight deck 35 feet ahead of the nose wheel. So I have to overshoot the runway centre line somewhat before I commence the turn to line up. A little bit disconcerting until you get used to it. Clear on the approach. Yeah. Prepare yourself now for a sequence of events which are unlike any other flying experience. There we are, all lined up and now standing by for our takeoff clearance from Heathrow Control Tower. Heathrow Tower, Control 189, clear takeoff to Salem Line, 2105, 15 now. Okay, we're cleared for takeoff. Everybody all set? Yeah, all set. Okay, 3, 2, 1, now. The noise abatement procedure. Three, two, one, noise. Once the aircraft is safely airborne, the engine power is reduced, the aircraft is leveled in order to maintain airspeed. In the terminal area like this, we fly around at 250 knots and we fly around with the nose advisor dial and dial of five, keeping a lookout for any other traffic that there may be around. Take off, take off, complete with the nose still applied. At 2% more, please, Bill. And I'll have Compton set up on my side, please. Compton is the name of a radio navigation beacon. And we're just getting to the point now where I'm going to ask Chris to select the nose and visor up, streamlining Concorde for high speed flight. Chris, could you select the nose and visor up now, please? Coming up. Possibly the sound level on the flight deck has decreased quite a lot. That uh, airflow noise we were getting before has now diminished. So if not the throttles fully, once the engines have all stabilised, 
Bill Brown will select the reheats in pairs. First of all, the inboards. There they are, just cutting in. We're going to take a timing on that. And the outboards, please, Bill. And we'll see that doing a little blip up and down the scale of the instrument as the shockwave attaches. We're just hanging just under Mark 1, just for 20 seconds or so. And we're just about to go through the sound barrier. There's the shockwave attaching right now. And we're super solid. No fuss. Approach Bibbit Concord 189 Heavy at 10,000. Bibbit Concord 189 Heavy at all approach, descend and maintain uh, 7,000. Bandwagon at the nose and visor, down and 5. Please. 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 Going. So that's the nose, and there's the visor going down, and the nose coming down to five degrees. Hey, briefing, any update? No update to the briefing. Taxi car. Red iron messages. Red. Red. Air cyber. There's no update. No update. Okay. Fifty-seven to final. Seat harness. Lock, lock, power off, minus two, the fire is off. There's the visor. It's down at five degrees. Down at five. Alternators and the radio alternators, there's no update. We have checked those, the approach checks complete. And at the moment we're only cleared to five, so as we approach that, we better get further clearance. Alert, one to go. We've got a thousand feet to go to our clearance level of five thousand feet, and the auto throttles increase the engine thrust to maintain that altitude. Heavy, heavy means large jet and Speedbird is British Airways. We're on a northerly heading to intercept the runway's directional radio beam known as ILS, Instrument Landing System. Thank you. About a 188, heavy, just to maintain 3,000. Three check. Okay, I'll take the autopilot out, chaps. And I'm now hand flying it, that's the autopilot out. Speedbird 188, heavy, reduce speed to 210 now. Speedbird 188, reduce speed to 210 now. It's a very good auto throttle system, by the way, and I've just demanded uh, at 210 knots intermediate approach speed from it, and the speed's gradually bleeding off now. And we are now established on the extended centre line, the runway we're landing on, and also on the glide slope. The glide capture. The overshoot height is 4,000. Chris now changes the frequency of his radio to that of the controller in the tower. Notice tower good afternoon, Speedbird Concord 188 Heavy, 4-1 right. Speedbird Concord 188 Heavy, those tower runway 1 right, clear to land, wind 050 at 3. Clear to land 1 right, Speedbird 188 Heavy. So we're cleared for an approach, we're fully established on the ILS, all the Radio aids have been identified and no problems at all. Have the gear down, please. Speed's okay. Four greens. Okay, gear checks four greens. That is... It's down a green. Checks. Brakes. Checked. They're normal. Okay, landing check is complete. Thank you very much. All the throttles in, on the glide slope, on the localizer. Glide slope and localizer are the two radio beams informing the pilot about his height and position relative to the ideal runway approach. Thank you. 100 to go. Now watch the wingtips, the famous delta wing swirl. Stick forward, please. Sticks forward. Yes, sir. A real grease. One hundred knots. Seventy five. Very much indeed. 